Welcome back to Space Engineers, folks. A bit has happened since the last one. If we head over this way, you can see that I have built up pretty much the entire uh, habitation area, area, living quarters, uh, whatever you want to call it. Uh, we do need to close this off. But yeah, pretty much everything has been built. Uh, there's still some work to do, but uh, the frame has been built, you might say. So if we go in and uh, take a look. Then we have, of course, the control room here, which you've already seen. And then we have what I think will be the medic bay uh, right here. I kind of like a look, the look of this window in the middle. I think that looks pretty cool. And uh, we, of course, need some stairs. I'm thinking that they will be down here in the end. And downstairs we'll have, uh, uh, well, the canteen and uh, some, some living space. So, yeah, that's the plan. That's the plan, but today we're going to work on something a little bit different than all that, uh, and that is vents, because we're about ready to close all this up, and then I want it to be pressurized. So, yeah, that needs to happen, and one thing that needs to happen is that we need to take all these out and get... Uh, what are they called? Uh, conveyors uh, above them as well so that they can feed into the oxygen tanks and then of course we need vents around the place and I am dreading the vents a little bit to be honest uh, let's so the first place that needs a vent is well down here I guess uh, we need a vent in this room. We need a vent in this room. We need a vent in the hallways. We need a vent in here. Oops. We need a vent in both of these rooms and the same up top. So, yeah. That needs to happen. So let's try and grind this bad boy out. Aha! Uh -huh. We can actually get vented right here. Oh, I am full of stuff. Let's just drop some stuff off in here. Uh, let's drop off a couple hundred of these. Let's drop that off. That should be fine. And we can pick it up here. Okay. Now we need uh, red uh, clean armor. I think. Nine. I want that. Actually, no, it needs to be battered armor, doesn't it? Yeah, battered armor. Then we need a... Hmm. Yeah. And I guess we need to go up top as well, so... Stick you in there. And then we'll put a vent. Uh, vent. Errant. That actually looks kind of nice. Let's try that. Uh, let's just have a look at it. Yeah, I like that. And we're going to make those white. Hmm. 
Let's just see. Yeah, that looks nice. That looks nice. Okay, so we have a vent in here. We need to get into the wall again. Which we can do this way. Uh, we need to go downstairs. Here we go. No. Down further. Here we go. Alright. So, we need to carve this out. That takes us up into the crawl space. And then up here. Which kind of works out nicely if we take this out. And we can stick the vent in there. Okay. We'll do red. Nine. Um, in the crawl space, we need a conveyor as well. Or uh, what's it called? A junction. We kind of need a junction in here as well. So, yeah. And then we need a turn. Not that way, not that way. Will you please turn the way that I want? There we go. And then this color is... I think it's this one. And we need eight. There. Guess it wasn't this one, but I actually I'm okay with that. Okay, so we have a vent in there. Didn't I make a hole to get into the crawl space? I guess I didn't. I do have what, a big one here though. And we actually need... This needs to come over and out somewhere in here I think right about there so do red again nine there uh, we don't need to come further here because this is all the same room, but we do because I think it'll be easier to do this around on the walls than in the roof and for the other rooms. Let's just take a look. I mean... It's not really, is it? Because we can just put a conveyor junction here and a vent in the roof, and the same over here. So yeah. So no, we don't need a. We don't. We don't need to go further around the wall. White, nine, no, eight. Like that. A 
but let's let's just pressurize in here as well. So let's close up. Um, what the hell they turn? Keep turning. Stop turning. Stop turning. We'll figure out later if we want windows in all of these uh, rooms. I'm not sure. Seven. There. And then we do need in here as well there cool so that'll get closed up let's just go get some energy Do right, that right here at the survival kit which is still temporary. There we go. All right, so that's some of the rooms vented up. Let's vent this one up as well. Uh, nine, actually, no, not nine, eight. We want that to be black. And I need to come down in here to see which way I want it. Suppose that's fine. And then nine, red. Okay. And then over in this room as well. And that'll be right here, I guess. Why not? And we can just... Eight. Just rotate it. There, red, uh, nine, junction there. Okay. So that means that we should close up these rooms as well. So the reason I built all the, well, almost all the, um, the living quarters uh, off camera is because it, it gets a little bit boring just watching me making rooms, uh, I guess. So, well, I think it does anyway. Let me know if it doesn't. Uh, so I decided to do that so that we can kind of progress maybe a little bit faster and get back to doing some exploring because I really want to explore the other planets and moons and stuff like that. Uh, 
and I, I want to get started on that uh, sooner rather than later. Uh, and I want to go find uh, plutonium or uh, uh, platinum, and I want to find uh, uranium and stuff like that so that we can build shields and we can really get into some some combat uh, without uh, getting blown to bits in five seconds because that tends to be what happens when I go into combat uh, there Dang thing. I guess these are not meant to be walls, but floors. And that's why they keep turning, which is incredibly frustrating. I suppose these should be turned, but we can do that later. Right, but that basically closes off those rooms. Now we need to get back in there, which we can only do this way. Because I think, was I missing a bit of wall here? I was. Oops. How'd that go there? All right, there we go. This is all closed off. I do wanna... I wanna make like a viewing platform here. So I wanna have a two by one bin window or should we make it uh, let's see could take it one down and one up and then stick a I won't be able to do that because I don't have the girders for it. Let's just go grab some girders. Uh, get rid of some of you, 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 you. And grab 20 girders, that's plenty. I just need one really. Where's the window? Mm, there. Oh, my bad. Which means that I probably want to put... Um, Let's see. I want not armor blocks, right, but I won't be able to put them in there. That's the problem. I wanted to put some of the flat blocks there, but I won't be able to. That just looks weird. I will figure it out. Anyway, um, so how do we get up there? We get up there by... Uh, don't we have scaffolding? Uh, Oh, 
What the hell? Uh, decorative locks. Uh, uh, there we go. Ah, uh, catwalks, it's called. Uh, let's put them. Hmm. We don't really need these blocks, most of them anyway. Uh, maybe we need this one. We certainly need a stair. And... Yes, that might be it. So we need the construction components for that. Uh, just grab a hundred. More than enough. We need to move them one back so that they start here. Missing to get this built, I'm guessing bulletproof glass. Yeah, I'm gonna ask them to make some more of that. But now we can run up here and stand here and have a view, which I kind of like. Let's go sit in our chair and order up some bulletproof glass while we're at it. Control uh, production, uh, bulletproof glass, Let's order 5,000 or something. That works. Okay. So, that was a bit of a side note with the viewing platform there. But I think it looks nice. But it's there. It also gives some light. Well, not so much because there isn't any light in the cave, really. Uh, all right. So that's all the rooms on the bottom floor that have All the rooms on the bottom floor have their uh, their vents. So then it's up here, and that room has it. Uh, let's go inside and find out where we want the next rooms to have it. Hmm, I guess we'll do it there. Uh, 
And then we will have a room over here. But I think I'll get that coming up through the floor. That should be fine. So we can stick the vent in there. Like so. Which means that we need to fly out this way again. Now, of course, we're missing the entire habitation module uh, still, but we'll get to that. And there's the, that's the oxygen, yeah. Thread. Corner, straight. Corner. All right. That's that done. Then way over here. Uh, let's just get this painted. Don't know why that was the wrong color. I actually don't mind that being in kind of a, a thing. I don't know what, is it, what it's called. Uh, kind of a different thing. Uh, we could actually make it even more a kind of a different thing by making it, for instance, orange. Yeah. I think that's okay. We're going to need red next. And we're going to get this going on right here, I think. So we need and I need to get out of here. Um, I guess a like that. Actually, no. We'll stick a junction in there let's try making it a gray one see what that looks like okay I think that looks pretty okay so that's this room that has a vent as well. Now, let's quickly hop in here. Control panel, 
vent. So this was in, I guess they're numbered in order that we placed them, right? So we placed first in uh, H2O2, Uh, production vent. Then we have. Then we placed in the storage upstairs, right? So, um, so that would be or storage vent. Then we placed, where did we place next? So we went up there, then we went downstairs. We don't have a vent in this room yet. That needs to be fixed. And in the hall needs to be fixed as well. Then we went over to the oxygen storage and placed that. And then refined materials and then assembling or hydrogen storage not oxygen storage hydrogen storage uh, so I uh, control panel vent this one was then uh, h2 storage vent this one was refined materials vent. This one was uh, assembling vent. Then this one was refining vent. And this one is um, nuclear reactor vent. Okay, good. So, so far so good. And next time we will continue getting our vents in. We need a vent for the upstairs hall, the downstairs hall, and the uh, finished product storage as well. And then we need to get it over to the greenhouse and the habitation module somehow. Yeah, that's the plan for the next one. So thank you very much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, why not leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.